A rivalry that's been going on for more than 100 years. Now a controversial social media post possibly showing the NMSU Aggie quarterback urinating on the Lobo practice field. Just the latest incident in the Rio Grande rivalry. The Aggies held a press conference today to address the video. Students from both schools now weighing in. Reporter Alyssa Muniz is live for us from University Stadium with reaction. Alyssa. Yeah, actually, and Doug, that rivalry game happened here in Albuquerque just two weeks ago. And after it was done, those allegations surfaced of NMSU's quarterback possibly urinating on the UNM practice fields. When I heard that, I kind of chuckled because, yeah. But I'm sure that people will like him a lot less because of that. That's kind of a low blow yeah. it, hearing about it. I understand when it comes to a competitive edge or a rivalry, you know, you do – amped up your actions for uh, per se, but um, it's kind of disappointing for one. In MSU quarterback Diego Pavia, who went to high school in Albuquerque at Volcano Vista, taking heat after a video surfaced on social media showing the alleged incident. It was probably in confinement with his, him and his friends. You know, they were just, you know, messing around with each other. Unfortunately, one uh, took it with their phones and everybody knows once it gets on social media, it goes everywhere. and. It could destroy you as a character. The Messi offensive coordinator holding a press conference to address the incident, and he says it happened before the season started. We're disappointed in his actions, um, disappointed in what happened, but again, it'll be handled internally and then we're going to move forward. We've made a lot of strides, a lot of positive strides. But anything that's uh, negatively an act, something happens, uh, is a distraction from what we're trying to do, and we're trying to find ways to, to limit those as much as possible. So if something like this pops up, you've got to handle it and then move on. And Beck says Pavio will be playing in their upcoming game against Florida International. Reporting in Albuquerque, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News.